Ever wondered what options are in the financial market? Well, let's break it down. When we talk about options, we're referring to contracts, not physical assets. These contracts grant the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell a certain underlying asset at a predetermined price before a specified date. This could be anything from stocks, commodities, currencies, or even indices. And for this right, the buyer pays a price known as the option premium. So what are the types of options, you ask? Ooh. There are two main types of options, call options and put options. A call option gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy an underlying asset at a specified strike price. It's like holding a ticket to buy at yesterday's price, even if today's price is higher. Traders use this when they're bullish, expecting the price to rise. On the other hand, a put option is the right to sell an underlying asset at a specified price. This is used when traders are bearish, expecting the price to fall. Now, why are options important in finance? Options are crucial for four main reasons. Leverage, hedging, income generation, and speculation. First, leverage allows you to control a larger amount of an asset with a smaller investment. Then there's hedging, a safety net for your investments against potential losses. Third, income generation. You can earn from premiums by selling options. Lastly, speculation gives traders the chance to wager on future price movements without owning the asset. Each of these facets provide unique benefits expanding your financial toolkit. Let's illustrate this with an example. Uh, imagine a stock trading at $100 per share. You predict it will rise to $120 within a month. Now, if you buy the stock outright, you'd spend $10,000 for a potential $2,000 profit. But with buying a call option, a one-month call option with a strike price of $100 might cost you $5 per share, a $500 premium for the contract. If the stock price rises to $120, you could exercise your option to buy shares at $100 and immediately sell them for a profit of $1,500, $20 profit per share minus the $5 premium you'd only spend $500 for a potential $1,500 profit. However, be mindful of the risks. Options trading can be risky due to leverage, time decay, and complexity. So that's a basic overview of what options are in finance. Remember, knowledge is power in the financial market.